everyone. Welcome to the BioEdge. The, um, <clears throat> the Indian peafowl uh, is an extreme bird in at least two different ways. Um, the way that's probably going to spring to mind for most listeners is that it has this enormous tail in the male, which seems to be a perfect example of um, Sir Harvey's handicap principle in the sense that um, the male puts himself in a position of, of, um, of being encumbered with a great big um, sexual advertisement in the form of a, of a masculine tail that is so enormous that it, it, it seems to risk his life and limb. It seems to make it uh, difficult for him to, to survive in, in, a, in a world of, of tigers and other predators in India. And, and that's an interesting question, the question of, you know, what, what is the, uh, the nature of evolution that produces these um, grossly um, developed male uh, advertisements? But the, the aspect of the, of the Indian peafowl we'd like to examine here at the BioEdge today is, is a different aspect of that same tail. Let's look at the actual pattern on the tail, and, and let's look at the, um, at the display that this male is trying to impress the females with, and that is a series of eye spots. Now, we take those eye spots for granted because, you know, the peafowl is a very familiar bird. But when you start looking laterally in, in the bird world, it's, it's extremely rare for a bird to advertise sexually using eye spots. I'm not sure there's, there's one other um, good example of it. Um, the, the Javan peafowl has, has nearly as well developed eye spots. But uh, apart from the two species of peafowl, there really aren't any good examples anywhere among the of species in the world that use eye spots at all, let alone for um, impressing females. So, so perhaps you know the, the Indian peafowl should be as well known for the fact that it has eye spots as part of its sexual advertisement as it is well known for having this, uh, this simply enormous tail. Now, let's, let's think about the evolutionary history of, of the eye spots, and let's ask ourselves, is it likely that the eye spots are actually destined for the female in the sense of, of having evolved under selective pressure of female choice, given that there are no other birds that seem to have, have created a precedent for this. And given that, the Indian peafowl is a commensal bird that is um, usually found uh, not too far from human dwellings and is favored and, and protected by people precisely because the the um, the pattern on that on that tail appeals to us. Uh, human beings are very uh, keyed into the appearance of eyes, and the fact that this bird has not only a huge decorative tail but also a tail adorned with with dozens of eye spots would seem to make the Indian peafowl particularly appealing for humans. Is that a coincidence? Is it a wild bird that has simply drawn closer to humans, or could it possibly be? Um, that, that we humans have actually put those eye spots there. In other words, that the, the tail of the, the uh, male Indian peafowl uh, is, is serving two agendas at once. One of them is the original agenda of all peafowl, and that is for the male to use his enormous tail to impress females and to gain uh, sexual success. But another parallel agenda, which does not conflict with the original agenda, is that we humans, by um, protecting and inadvertently selecting from, from the males of the Indian peafowl have actually replaced the ancestral pattern, whatever that was, with a pattern more to our, to our own liking and, and not, to, you know, not, not causing dislike on the part of the peafowl female. So the, the idea is that um, at some time in the past, um, peafowl were naturally attracted to, to human habitation, starting with farms. And that because of, of the, um, the glorious appearance of the bird, um, peafowl were tolerated and even protected by people. But that human beings started to um, prefer and favor certain birds that had patterns on their tail with a, a greater resemblance to eye spots. And over time, this, this pattern of eye spot uh, resemblance on the tail was, was accentuated by an artificial, an artificial selection that, that's essentially uh, anthropogenic. And that eventually resulted in the pattern we have today, which is really a human-caused pattern. So 
what we're suggesting here at the BioEdge is that when you ne next look at a, at a male Indian peafowl, what you're seeing is two things, not just one thing. You're seeing the results of sexual selection on the part of the female peafowl, the peahen, and that has created the enormous train, the enormous tail. But on that, on that tail, you're seeing the um, results of an anthropogenic selection process that has no particular name um, because it's not domestication. It's something more specific than commensalism. Um, and and um, the, the, the giveaway, I think, is that, is that to, the, to the peafowl, those patterns, the pattern on the, on the male's tail, doesn't necessarily look like eye spots at all. In, in the first place, the, the, the peafowl can see in ultraviolet. And so what the peafowl sees when the male raises and shimmers his tail is not necessarily what we see, because we humans do not see in ultraviolet, unlike birds. Um, and secondly, if you look at the, the, the male peafowl, the, the peacock, he doesn't actually advertise his eyes at all. Uh, his eyes are in fact crossed out by the coloration on his face. And so there's no reason to, to believe that in the courtship display of a, of, a, of a male peafowl, there would be much emphasis on eyes at all. And so putting all these different lines of, of evidence together in some lateral thinking, um, what we're suggesting is that the, uh, the, the Indian peafowl is the prime example in the animal world of a, of a so-called hortensic species, that's H-O-R-T-E-N-S-I-C, which is a different category from uh, a domestic species. It's still essentially a wild bird. Um, it, it is not selectively bred in a, in a deliberate or advertent way, but the result is similar to domestication in one particular respect, and that is that we humans, and not the female peafowl, have put the eye spots on the tail of this particular species. Um, that's an, an idea that still needs to be tested, but it's a slightly different take on um, a very familiar bird. And uh, with that, um, we look forward to seeing you next time um, in another audio clip here at the BioEdge. Bye.